Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I've got some happy mail to open and I've got a little queue of um, openings, <laughs> happy mail openings um, that I haven't had time to edit. It's been lovely opening them, I just haven't, haven't had to, it's just been so busy I haven't had time to get, get it all edited. So this I reckon is going to be it's either this for the stitchery swap or the art swap. So this is the great big little stitchery swap or great big little art swap. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will put a link to the um, playlist below and I'll also put my link tree there so you can find your way to the Arty Farty Annie group on Facebook uh, and or our free Discord community. And that's where you can, and there's a, a stitchery swap room and an art swap room in there and lots of other things going on. Shall I stop waffling and get into this parcel? I don't know who it's from. The reason I'm fairly certain it's a swap is that somebody's put m my name on a piece of tape though, which to me probably means they had several different envelopes going out to different people and they'd they'd put the, um, this was ready. They, they've had the, their post collected, which is the same as I do. So it helps to have someone's name. <laughs> so you know which label goes on which thing if you're having a whole load collected all at the same time. Interesting. I'm a huge fan of Royal Mail. My my posties are just amazing. Day in, day out, all through the year, any weathers, despite everything I've been up against this year and despite having to come and collect mountains of posts from me and bring me loads and loads of but they just never stop smiling. They're just lovely guys. Friendly, efficient, just yeah, nothing is too much trouble. And I'm a huge fan of this this whole uh, buy your postage online and get it collected the next day. I think they might start charging for it again soon, in which case it might not be so attractive, but at the moment it's free. So, what I hadn't noticed was, I don't know if you're about to see there, UK's lowest average parcel carbon footprint 218 grams. I've never seen it detailed like that before. I think that's brilliant. Now, I would have assumed my Amazon was. was would be right up there because they have those electric vehicles and stuff i suppose with royal mail a lot of it gets done on foot doesn't it you know they they park at at the end of one road and then they do a hell of a lot of walking some of them are on bikes they have their trolleys yeah so that's that's really interesting to know yeah huge fan of royal mail let's stop with the waffling woman and let's get in there oh there's a little extra something in here look at this oh wow rainbow pencil <laughs> can't wait to have a go with that and after seeing what claire so claire 96 bell in our discord and she's she's claire rollinson you'll know her in uh, in the facebook group she did uh, some amazing i loved the artwork that she did with one of these multicolored pencils and i thought oh i must because i know i've got a couple of them i must give those another go and here's a rainbow one love that Okay, this looks, let's make sure I'm not leaving anything. I left, a, I left a beautiful piece of lace in an envelope the other day. I had to go back through my recycling. But luckily, I'm keeping most of the envelopes at the moment anyway. So, hmm. Intriguing. I don't know if it's stitch swap or art swap at this stage, because I've done some of both. <gasps> stitch! <gasps> Scrovillex. Look! Ah, do you know what? Now, so, I just, when I saw Crovilex, I thought, I recognise that, but I wonder if that's the same as Vile. So in our Discord community, this is Vile. <laughs> it's not Vile. <laughs> but I have seen Crovilex as well. So that must be, is that on Instagram I've seen Crovilex? And I didn't realise it's the same person. That's the trouble when people have got different names, isn't it? Uh, on different platforms. That is so beautiful. So with the art swap, um, I suggested that if we, if people wanted to, they could do a bookmark this time instead of a square. I'm I'm intrigued. And I, I've, no, I've finished. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm not sure what this is going to be yet because I thought we were only swapping art, but this looks like stitching. So yeah, some of us have been doing. Um, some people have still done squares. Some people are going for bookmarks. I'm going for bookmarks, and. Um, and some people have done both. <laughs> it's all I can do to manage to get one out, let alone two. <laughs> that is so beautiful. Look at all the lovely. It's got this beautiful, I don't know if it's watercolour she's used in, the, used in the background to make this lovely background with all different shades of purples and magenta kind of colours there. And then the lovely metallic pens and pearlescent kind of pearly metallic paint there and, and pens as well. 
absolutely gorgeous i'm going to have so many lovely bookmarks and it'd be really nice i'll probably end up using them in my i'm going to be having a lot of different craft books on the go for inspiration when i start the color inspiration journal in january so it will be nice to have all these bookmarks really sweet lovely bookmarks to mark the pages now what is this which i'm not expecting <laughs> <laughs> for our fartiest artist <laughs> nice one Tom's going to enjoy that as well <laughs> but what is this <gasps> oh look wow oh look that is so beautiful it's like that oh now I've forgotten what it's called it's like that Japanese style of art but it's me isn't it oh wow that is so gorgeous and I love that so it's, it's on a little piece of canvas I think and it's done in, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably acrylics. And then she's stitched onto it as well. Beautiful and so unique. Vile, see this is what I, yeah. Vile 2023. Oh, I love it. I just love that. Oh, ooh, goose pimples come out now. <laughs> I was saying the other day, I'm going to put all these little works of art. I'm, I'm going to make a miniature um, portfolio. Like, like a, you know, like a proper art portfolio that we used to carry about in art school years ago. <laughs> I was saying the other day, you saw, you used to nearly blow over if there was a strong wind because this thing was so huge and I was so little then. Hard to believe now, I know. A lot more ballast on now. <laughs> and uh, I thought I'd make a kind of funky, kind of miniature version of one of those portfolios to keep all of my all of my art squares in and also some of the other beautiful pieces of art that people have shown me because I haven't got room to display them all here, although I'd love to. I sort of rotate them behind me. But I've just not got a lot of wall space because it's all covered with shelving <laughs> storage. <laughs> This is so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Vile. I, I just, I love it. I love, love, love it. Oh. Right, let's set myself up. And thank you so much for the rainbow pencil as well. That is so me. Let's set myself up a little thumbnail here. Camera's catching that moon a bit funny. Just look at that. It's just happy, feel good art that is. That's just, yeah, made my day. Oops, I know I can't make anything work now. Oh no, temporary malfunction. <laughs> thank you so much, Vile. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much for them. Thank you for the rainbow pencil. Absolutely love it. I need to stop waffling now. Say goodbye. <laughs> thank you very much for joining me. Hope you're having a happy Christmas and I will see you again really soon. <laughs> New Year's resolution. Stop waffling so much. <laughs>